What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Juan TV, and I am back with another video. Before we get into today's video, make sure you like this video. Follow your boy on IG. Make sure you follow your boy on TikTok. And make sure you, most importantly, subscribe to the channel. All right, y'all. So today's video, we get into a how to style on this shoe right here. Now, the general population, you know what I'm saying? Well, what, what I'm about to say. Goddamn. The general population's opinions and thoughts on this shoe kind of surprised me, you feel me? Cadiz is hard, Travis Scott low, and the olive, the women's colorway. These is hard. Like, these is hard as hell. Like, a lot of people are saying they don't like them. This is the worst Travis Scott one. This is the worst Travis Scott all time. This is the worst Travis Scott low. This shoe is hard. I know some people, some big feet people, they probably saying that because they mad they couldn't get them because they, you know what I'm saying, they wear a size Sasquatch. But these is hard. They do remind me of the reverse smokers, you know what I'm saying? You basically have the same color block in this set. For brown, you have black. I mean, except for cream, you have the olive, but it's a fire shoe. It's a dope shoe. Like, if y'all hating on these, I don't know what to tell you because these right here is hard. This is definitely a top three low. Like, out of all five lows, this is definitely top three. But yeah, we're gonna get to how to style on these joints right here. I did get a delayed dub on these, you feel me? But yeah, let's go ahead and get into that. talk about the shoe real quick because i didn't do a review but yeah these right here like i said in the intro these are hard hard so on my list of travis scott one lows it has to be the fragment reverse mocha these the og mocha and then the fams that is my list of the lows like these are hard bro these is hard it's a nice neutral tone you got the hints of red like you can wear this shoe with damn near everything like it's fine. You can wear it with everything if you cover up the red on the back and on the tongue. Like the shoe is just that hard, you know what I'm saying? And then with the lace options, you got four laces. So you got the olive green, got the red, the white, and then you have the black. But yeah, the materials, the colorway, everything is fire. Got some nice, good leather on the white parts. Got that good black suede, that two-tone motion, all that. The green material on the swooshes is kind of weird though. It's kind of just like a it feels like a really, really low suede, almost damn near like a felt type of feeling. I like, I don't know really what it is. It's nowhere near the black. It's a whole different material. But let's go ahead and get to the fits. All right, y'all. So with this first outfit, I just want to do something simple, clean, all black, fire, a little bit of colors. Starting with the bottoms, we have these flare jeans from Minimal. You got that carpenter look on the front. All that good stuff. Fire, dope pair of pants. You got this watch black look. The little carpenter you dig, whatever they call it on the front. It's in that pitch black. Fire, hard, dope pair of pants. Frayed hands at the bottom. It's just fire. Going up to the shirt, we have this Michael Jordan J Edits T. This shirt is fire. J Edits newest release. I don't know, all of y'all always ask, like I said in my last video, I always ask about the J shirts. Once again, he only does exclusive drops. After that drop, the shirt does not drop again. So if y'all want these, y'all gonna have to find them on a secondhand market, like Grailed or something. But as far as copping it from Jay, it's not happening. But yeah, shirt is hard. It's fire. You got MJ on the back. Six time champ. Got different pictures on the front. Fire, dope shirt. Got that wash black look to it. It's just fire. Going up to the hat, we have on this white socks fitted. Got a little patch on the side, and yeah, it's just fire. It's hard. All black. Got a little hits of colors on the on the side patch. Just looks dope. Go hard with the fit. Went for a baggy loose vibe for this fit, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's definitely a vibe. But yeah, this is the first outfit. Let's go ahead and get into the next one. Alright, so this next outfit is more of a chill vibe and just a simple, clean outfit. Can't go wrong. Starting with the bottom, we have these olive green cargos from Richie Lee Collection. Fire hard. You got the four cargo pockets, two on each side. There's a fire, simple pair of cargo pants. They just look dope. Going up to the T, we have another J Edits shirt. This is from his basic collection. Just says J on the front of the shirt. All white, boxy fit T. Fire hard. Just white and black, simple shirt. Could pretty much pair it with anything. 
Up top of the hat, we have this all black and white sworn to us hat. Y'all seen this hat plenty of times. It's the hat I wear the most. It's the most versatile. It's black and white. Got the all black with the white logos. It's just very simple to wear, very easy. Goes with everything. All right, the second outfit. Let's go ahead and hop into the next one. All right, so with this next outfit, it's just a vintage vibe. Y'all saw this shirt in the last video, but I don't care. Like I said, this is one of my favorite shirts right now. But yeah, going for just pretty much a vintage aesthetic. Starting with the pants, we have these vintage cargo pants. I actually thrifted myself. Fire hard. I got them for a store out here called Rumors. Fire hard. I think I paid like $10, $12, something like that. And yeah, they dope. They got, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of a crop down there at the bottom. Nothing too crazy. It's like this brownish olive green type color. But it's fire. Like these pants is hard. Going up to the top, we have this vintage 1998 racing tee dope hard got that nice faded black got the colors on it the green the yellow the red the blue it's just fire like this tee is just hard the front hit back hit all that shirt's crazy going up to the top we do have this phillies fitted on you got a little side patch right there on the left all red hat is fire i just thought it was a dope pop of color to add to the fit get a little pop you feel me all right, so the third outfit. Let's go ahead and move to the next one. All right, so with this fourth outfit, we went for, you know, a pretty much matchy-matchy type of outfit. I just want to go with tones and color coordination with this fit. Starting with the bottoms, we have these camo cargos from Minimal Fire Dope. You have the one cargo pocket in the front of the right leg. But other than that, just a regular pair of bottoms. Pretty much like chinos got this real tree camo or whatever the camo is called fire hard i think this the print was just a nice touch to go with the olives with the laces and the swoosh it just looked hard going up to the top we have this dale earnhardt vintage tee all black you have the white and red fire you got the front hit and the back hit on the back of his accomplishments just a fire dope tee it's one of my favorite tees that i have in my closet it's just hard you can put it with pretty much any shoe it's black and red and then for the hat we have on this red and white vague streetwear hat you have vague studios on the back and then on the front you have their little logo fire dope hat fits nice all red just to give a pop of color just like the last outfit it just looks dope if i had an olive green hat i probably would have used the olive green hat but i don't so i just use the red but yeah this fourth outfit let's go ahead and get to the last one all right gang for the first time i'm doing five outfits i had plenty of time to get another outfit in so i was like you know what let me go ahead and throw an extra one for y'all but this is just giving a vintage summer vibe you know jorts season is in you feel me we is rocking the jorts starting with the bottom we have these vintage faded watch levi jorts i got these from depop once again i always say if you're looking for vintage looking for some steals on good vintage clothing depop that's where you need to go fire hard cutoffs above the knee cut they just look good going up to the top you have this vintage chicago bulls t five-time champion 1997 you feel me got the nice bull on the front nba champion fire hard all over white or cream type color i just thought you know what i'm saying it would be better if i did white instead of a black shirt just to give it more of a pop Going to the hat, we have on this black trucker hat from Devotion for L. Got like this capital type look to it. But yeah, summertime, you know, you rocking the truckers. Truckers is more ventilated, got more, you know, air into it, you know what I mean? Because it got the netting on the back. So, you know, you need some aeration in your head when it's hot, you feel me? But yeah, fire, dope, got the greens, creams, the reds, dope fire colors. But yeah, that is the last and final outfit. All right, y'all, that's how I style the Air Jordan 1 Low and that Travis Scott colorway, the women's joints. Like I said, these are hard. I think all the fits I gave for y'all is hard as well. Y'all let me know which fit was y'all favorite, which ones you wasn't feeling, which ones, you know what I'm saying, you might try to, you know what I'm saying, copy, emulate a little bit. Y'all let me know. I ain't gonna hate, you know what I'm saying? If I inspire you for a fit, just let me know. 
You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't really no hater. I'm not a gatekeeper. You know what I'm saying? I don't really care. Because I get inspired by hella people. So, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But yeah, y'all let me know if y'all was able to cop the Travis Scott one. Lowe's, you know what I'm saying? On sneakers, raffles. I took 12 L's on this shoe. 12. I got entered 10 raffles, you know what I'm saying? Undefeated. I'm on the air. Social status. Um, likelihood. You know, I did tons of raffles. Kith lost all of them. And then you had the Travis Scott website drop, hit to get L on that. Then you had the sneakers drop to get L on that. 12 L's on this shoe. And I, it was just like, it is what it is. But then, my knowledge of sneakers, I knew the price was gonna drop. So, I got rid of a few pairs, and then I bought these. You feel me? So, yeah. This right here is definitely a dope fire shoe, you know what I'm saying? The only other one that I actually want in my collection is the Reverse Mocha. I already have the Fragment, so if I have these, the Fragment and the Reverse Mocha, I'm good on Travis Scott one of those, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this right here is a dope shoe. Let me know what you think about the outfits, and let me know if you was able to cop these. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all the good shout out hot shit. It's your boy Juan TV on the road to 10K subscribers, and I'm gone. Get it.